BYD just received 20,000 pre-orders in a single day when it revealed this new electric car. And I actually think it's BYD's best value car they've ever made. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Now, BYD, the yen up. You've probably seen it. $14,000 for the base price. People keep going on about the, the Seagull as if it's some big threat to General Motors and Ford and Volkswagen. I don't understand. It's, it's not a car they're selling in most countries worldwide it, and, and certainly not selling it anywhere near the prices that they sell it for in China. Now, this car, in my opinion, is a car you might want to talk about as being a threat. I get that because this is a car that people buy. People don't buy the Seagull. As in global sales of cars the size of the Seagull are minuscule. They're like 2% of sales worldwide, they're nothing. That's the car market that no one buys. It's like, you might as well just like worry about tractors or uh, I don't know, go-karts, because really the, the Seagull is not a relevant car. I, that's why I'm baffled by these stupid reports. This car is different, very, very different, because this is the segment people are buying. It's the fastest growing EV segment, the fastest growing car segment in the world, period. All right, small crossover electric cars. BYD received 20,000 orders after launching this car, and you can see why. I mean, it doesn't look amazing, but it's pretty damn good for the price. The Yen Up was launched on the 26th of March, with the price starting at $13,400 and topping out at $16,600. It's bigger, a little bit bigger, about 15% bigger overall than the BYD Dolphin Electric Hatchback. But as you can see, it's a st the style that people want. It's, it's the look that people want. It's the kind of um, thing that people are buying right now. I mean, this thing is only 4.3 meters long, 1,830 meters wide. So it's 1.8 meters wide and it's 1,675 millimeters tall. But this is the growing segment here. This is the, this is the vehicle that you can see BYD uh, going to kill it with because you, we've seen that. Reservations. Look at the BYD seal. How many reservations did BYD get in China? They didn't talk about it because it was, it was so few of them. This, on the other hand, is going to fly out the door. 20,000 reservations within a very, very short period of time. And it looks much better. And BYD have learned from the criticisms of the Dolphin, the criticisms of the Addo 3, significantly improve the interior. I spoke to someone today. They wanted to buy a BYD Addo 3. They looked at the inside and said they couldn't handle it. The, the inside was just too polarizing for them. They couldn't drive around in that. And the, the guitar strings, the red guitar strings and stuff, yeah. I agree with them. It, 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 I had the 803 and I agree the interior was wacky, wacky, right? It's it's a good car, but the interior, they could have done a better job. But now this car is, it's cheaper than an 803. The interior is much simpler, nicer, more elegant. And people have learned from that. In addition to that, it has an 8.8 inch full LCD instrument panel. That's for the driver, right in front of the driver. It's got a 13 inch floating control touchscreen. It's got an eight inch heads up display, which the 803 doesn't have, a flat bottom four spoke steering wheel. It has BYD's Dialink 5.0 operating system. So it can actually have over the air software updates, which BYD now do, unlike almost every other manufacturer except for Tesla. Other configurations include voice control recognition, over the air updates, like I said, wireless charging, remote control parking, NFC key entry, and level to advanced driving assistance functionalities. Now. Of course, the level two assistance functionalities are not really that functional. They aren't for most car manufacturers though. Very importantly though, it comes with a BYD blade battery, lithium ion phosphate battery. Um, it takes 30 minutes to charge the battery from 30% to 80%. It has the same motors as the Addo 3 uh, and the Dolphin. So the entry level model, the $13,000 model, it comes with the standard single motor, 70 kilowatt, 180 newton meters, and a 32 kilowatt hour blade battery, giving it 300 kilometers of range. But the model that most people are going to buy, right? This is around $15,000. It is 130 kilowatt, 290 newton meters, more than enough power. It's got a 45 kilowatt blade battery, giving it close to four, about 400 kilometers of range. That, in my opinion, $14,000 is going to sell incredibly well. And you can see this is the car that automakers should be worried about. This is the one they're going to look up at and take a lot of notice of because BYD can sell these at these insane prices without losing any money. Thanks for watching.